Uh, I first met uh, Terry Gibson in 1988. Um, I'll never forget it. It was uh, my first chance to meet and train with a guy named Sifu Francis Fong. And uh, I attended the seminar with, uh, at the time, my Kempo instructor, Shodai Mani Ashley. And we went to see a, a JKD seminar. And we met uh, Sifu Francis Fong, and uh, he was doing you know, a lot of Wing Chun, of course. Um, but uh, there was a guy there named Terry Gibson, and I didn't really know uh, anything about him at the time. All I saw was this big guy, this big muscular guy, uh, doing these drills with Sifu Francis Fong, and I thought, man, that guy looks stiff. Uh, because it was my first introduction to the, uh, the structure of Muay Thai. So just kind of walking along with your hands up, and I was like, man, that seems odd, um, compared to JKD that, and the footwork I had seen in JKD. So it seemed out of structure. But I got a chance to talk with uh, Terry Gibson at the end of that seminar and found that he was an instructor under Dan and Asano, who I had followed for many years, read all his stuff, read all his books, read his magazine articles. Huge fan. And uh, I mean, I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee, but I was an even bigger fan of Dan and Asano. And still, still to this day, that's the case. And um, so found out he was an instructor under Guru Dan. I was like, wow, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, a guy like that to have those kind of connections teaching those arts. And so <laughs> at first I would, I would uh, call Mr. Gibson, call his academy, and I would talk to him and he would answer questions and stay on the phone with me forever and guide me along. And, uh, I remember one time I talked to him and for so long that he put his wife on the phone with me and Kathy was talking to me, helping me out. You know, and uh, they were just very open and welcoming and, and encouraging uh, to, to a young guy who was just trying to figure out what to do and where to go. And so I began saving my money and Terry Gibson lived about two and a half hours from me. Uh, I was still living in Arkansas at the time. And I would save up my money uh, for a couple hours with the private lessons. And I would travel up there once a month. I would pay my, for my two hours worth of lessons, which I videotaped. And then I would stay for classes that evening. Mr. Gibson didn't charge me anything. Just let me hang out and bang around with the guys. And then I would go home and I would work on that material for a solid month. Because I had my own school. I would go back home and train it on my students and, and training partners. And then I would go back and show him what I had done. And then he would teach me two more hours of material. And I would go back and do that. Did that back and forth for a couple of years with a million phone calls in between. And uh, again, always encouraging, always supportive. And so around 1990, um, uh, I went up, I was, said, hey, I wanna come up and spend a couple of days or do a couple of private lessons. And he said, well, why don't you just come up and spend a week? And uh, you know, my personal life was just in absolute chaos at the time. And, uh, and you know, he'd, we'd talked about it. And he said, why don't you just come up and spend the whole week? So I was like, okay. I had nothing else to do, I'd just left my job. So I went up there and spent a week with them, just training during the day and hanging out with them in the evenings, staying in their guest bedroom. And uh, at the end of the week, he said, uh, hey, you know, our academy's grown quite a bit. We're looking to, uh, to add on, and we want to hire our first full-time employee uh, as a program director and instructor. We'd like you to be that guy. And I'm telling you, you could have pushed me out of the chair with a feather. I was blown away uh, at the opportunity. And so... I didn't need to know how much it was gonna pay, or even if it was gonna pay, I didn't care at that point. I was like, yep, this is the place I wanna be, this is the people I wanna be with. And, um, and so I said yes, and they hired me. And so I moved to Tulsa and spent the first uh, couple of months living in their guest bedroom until I saved up enough money to get my own apartment. And it was a turning point in my life that I'll never forget. Um, they, you know, I say it all the time, that they're the ones who gave me a shot at the big leagues. They're the guys who made me go from being just a guy at a seminar to, uh, to being their guy. And all of a sudden now I'm having lunches and dinners with people like Guru Dan and Asano and uh, Sadat Sajan Chai. Uh, get, to, get to really know people and, and have real, build real relationships uh, that still last to this day. And uh, so I can never thank Terry and Kathy uh, Gibson enough for, uh, you know, giving me the opportunity and... Uh, seeing something in me that they thought was worth investing in and um, and helping me forge on to a, a career and a life that's been far more than I ever expected. So thanks, Terry and Kathy.